I'm going to use the corner of the brush. I'm going to come up here and we're going to drop probably one over here. Now you can paint these trees with a filbert brush, with a fan brush. Uh, it doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm just tapping like that. And as you move down, just create the impression of the branches and the leaves. Miss a few spots, you know, give your, give your tree a uh, character. So I paint a few with you and then I'm going to continue the rest and then for the highlights I bring you back again with the corner of the brush I'm just going to go and tap like that most of you guys know how to paint an evergreen tree but just in case you know a beginner artist is watching this and we have new subscribers every day so you know it's good to explain and thank you all your new subscribers if you're watching this video I appreciate your trust in the channel welcome to my channel and hopefully you you will stay and you continue you know watching these videos as long as you guys watch I make videos so same idea just tapping and I'm doing very slowly so you can see what I do so something like that and like so you can create as many trees as you want as Bob Ross used to say it's your world you know create as many trees as you want now I'm gonna create a gap probably over here I'm gonna put a small one over here I don't want to like you know do a wall of trees over here so maybe I do a small one over here And then I'm going to come here and do a big one. Maybe even a little bit bigger. And same idea with the corner of the brush. Now you can either push up like that or push down, it doesn't matter. Whatever you like. And once you get good at it, you can just go ahead and quickly paint these trees. And I'm gonna go, just go ahead and block the area.
like so so I'm gonna go ahead continue these trees over here and then I'll bring you back um, for highlighting them we're gonna continue with ultramarine blue and white and um, small brush and at this stage we're going to go ahead and uh, basically um, cover the mid-tone over the trees I'm not using a uh, straight white yet just gonna you know apply the highlight thinking about the, the shape of the tree the branches and stuff like that I'm gonna paint it randomly but it's not so random either you know if it makes any sense You want to leave some dark in between your mid-tones and highlights. like so now you may wonder why I'm using a smaller brush because um, this gives me more control and for trees in the back I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same idea basically same technique Now with the mid-tone 
applied we're going to go ahead and apply some highlight to these trees that's the final step for creating these uh, evergreen trees snow covered evergreen trees or wintry wintry trees just be mindful in this step where your light is uh, hitting your trees um, in this painting is coming from right to left so we're going to highlight this part of the trees and I'm using mainly white same way same technique uh, uh, as you painted the tree uh, with the mid-tone you can go ahead and apply highlight now you can use um, you can use a fan brush to do this but um, I think this technique is a little better but it's up to you And as I said, I'm using a small brush for uh, only uh, more control, to have more control, you can pick up a bigger brush. like so I'm going to do a few more to the back I'm not gonna highlight much The key is to take your time slowly but surely you know you can you know, don't try to you know finish it uh, quickly as quickly as you see it done on YouTube there is no trophy for painting fast unless you enter uh, speed painting contest just take your time
and like so you know you can create snow covered evergreen trees uh, it's a little more realistic than the usual um, fan brush you know just painting like that um, it's up to you what technique you want to use I'm gonna do this one as well And like so you can create your evergreen trees you can paint as many as you want you know you can always go back and if you believe that your tree or trees need some mid-tone here and there like over here I can come over here and fix a few area use my fingers to smoosh the paint a little work on them I'm gonna uh, give you a close-up all right so that's the technique I use for uh, creating these trees as I said, you can use a bigger brush if you want, it doesn't matter, um, whatever you're comfortable with. And I hope you found some value in this uh, demonstration, painting uh, evergreen trees in a wintry scene. Uh, Alright, see you next uh, with the painting, bye bye.